Child the Creator, Man of the Year, take one. Hello, I'm Tyler here, and the title of what I'm gonna be doing is right there, so you already know what the f I'm about to do for the next two minutes. Favorite ride at Six Flags, favorite sushi roll from Miss Tracy Ellis Ross. I love that woman. She's awesome. Um, Colossus is the greatest ride ever, especially the new one. Shit is cute as shit. And uh, I prefer just salmon over rice, no wasabi with eel sauce. I'm not in the, the rolls with the cucumber and all that extra garnish bullshit. Not for me. Seth Rogen asked, <laughs> what were your favorite movies growing up? I don't remember, but I could tell you my favorite movies now. Napoleon Dynamite, Superbad, 20th Century Woman, Scary Movie 2, um, Spike Jones, why did you win Man of the Year? I don't fucking know, nigga, because I'm tight as fuck. I do a lot of tight shit. Like, that's really sick. And I'm cute. From Kendall Jenner. That's the bro. You're the most fun person to be around and genuinely one of my favorite people. I just want to know, when you go home at the end of the day and sit with yourself, how does it feel? <laughs> What do you think about? <laughs> I go to fucking sleep. <laughs> I don't know how it feels. I go home and like watch TV or go to sleep or shower. <laughs> I love Kendall, but I don't know what she wanted the answer to be like. Oh, it feels like I could change the world and like uh, the children. Like, I go to f sleep. <laughs> she thought she had one. Chris Melodondri, if you are unfamiliar with that name, Despicable Me, a bunch of other tight ass shit. Just know that. Illumination, Google it. Ooh, this is a long question. Okay, uh, Chris. <laughs> We live in a world that is more fixated than ever on how people perceive us, and yet your artistic expression across music, fashion, performance, and business appears to be so interdirected. Where did you get all of this confidence, and can you share some of it? Uh, I don't know where I got this confidence from. I just have it, and I can't, you physically can't share confidence. It comes from within, and if don't have it, they don't have it, and that's their problem. I like myself, I would myself and I do everything that I do to please myself and I think Chris has some of that too because that is one confident I like him and he just asked another question what was the first song you fell in love with maybe sometimes dancing by brownstone it's off their first album I think it's number five or um couldn't Love You More by Sade off Love Deluxe. Um, that's number three. Uh, or like something off Faith Evans' first album or like Jeanne's first. It was like a, I remember being like four or five and just coming across all those albums and like that shit really uh, shaped like my ear for sound. And uh, I still to this day try to mimic just how some of those beats were made. So uh, yeah, that stuff. Gerard Carmichael, that's my fucking big homie. And he said, this is a good question. Wow, would you rather never hear rolling them sevens again or get another foot massage? That is a good question because rolling them sevens is a song by NERD off of their last album that I absolutely fucking love. I want to get it tatted on my leg. And I prefer a foot massage over a blow. I've had a foot thing since I was a little boy. I don't know what it is. Ooh, f dude, what?
probably never hear Rolling Them Sevens ever again. And I love that song. Now, have you ever gotten a real foot massage? Like a real one though, like from like a, someone that grabs your feet, like you've been eating too much fish type shit. It's crazy. I be getting from massages, they're like any areas you want like that year? And I'm like, oh, I've been biking, my feet hurt, but also my back, my back don't hurt. I just don't want to look weird and just be the who only get his foot touched for an hour and 30 minutes, bro. Okay, Pharrell Williams asked, as you are inspiring others with your unique point of view and game-changing feats, what are the amazing ways you possibly pay all this forward? Oh, okay, I just did a bike with SC Bikes and I wasn't fixated on even selling them. I kind of just wanted to give them to a bunch of kids who couldn't get bikes. So I uh, actually teamed up with a Boys and Girls Club to. Uh, like and just sent like 10 to each one that I could um, with the allotment of bikes that we had and they'll just give them away to kids who want a bike. I guess that counts. 